And for more on this, former assistant United States attorney in New York's Eastern District, Keir Dougal, joins me now. Keir, great to see you. Thank you for being with us. Hi, Tanya. So how significant is this? Can you break down exactly what it was Kusianova was trying to do? Yeah, this is very significant. And it is, um, uh, she's charged in a conspiracy that is self-described as uh, an information war against the United States. So it's a, a real threat to our democracy. Um, and what's new about this, as mentioned in the opening, is that it's an attempt to interfere with our upcoming uh, midterm elections, which is different from what we've seen previously. And how significant is it that one individual is being charged rather than a whole troll factory? Right. So um, the procedure that we see here looks uh, very much like this was a specific effort uh, to take an opportunity to arrest this particular individual. So the, um, the charges themselves and the prior Internet Research Agency indictment suggests a much um, broader uh, group of people than this one individual. But this particular procedure that we see here looks very much like it was designed to take an opportunity to arrest this one person while she was in a place where she could be arrested. And presumably she had some sort of leadership role. She is named as the chief accountant of this, uh, of this group, of this conspiracy, with um, all, uh, uh, responsibility for all aspects of the financing. So um, uh, this is somebody who is going to have very, very detailed knowledge of how this conspiracy worked um, and information about its methods and what it actually did. And so how likely is it that she will be arrested and stand trial in the United States? So um, that's a great question, and, and ordinarily indictments like this um, or, or charges like this, uh, sometimes they're criticized for being kind of paper exercises. Right. You know, these, the, the, the criticism is the, the defendants will never see a, a courtroom. This procedure looks different. This was a complaint. It was filed um, at the end of September, um, and it was unsealed just now. Uh, very close to our, our midterm election. Um, my educated guess is because um, she was in a position where she could be arrested. Now, Kier, does this indictment mean anything for the Mueller investigation? Well, um, indirectly. Um, another important factor here is that these charges were brought by the National Security Division of the Department of Justice, not by the Special Counsel's Office. But they dovetail very closely with the Internet Research Agency indictment, which the special counsel returned uh, at the beginning of the year. In fact, they overlap very, very uh, closely. So um, what this uh, what these set of charges, I think, indicate to us is it's further evidence of the consensus view of the intelligence community that um, that Russians were interfering with our election in the past. And now this new set of charges shows that it's continuing up till now um, with an effort to interfere with our midterm elections. So what so many people are worried about is exactly this. Now, Kusianova, has there been any response from her or her attorneys or anyone in, in any way related to her? So we don't know that yet, or at mm -hmm. least I haven't read coverage of that. Um, it's entirely possible that this set of charges was unsealed in support of an extradition proceeding that may be occurring in a foreign country. So, um, um, frankly, given the allegations in the Internet Research Agency indictment in February, um, you would think that the co-conspirators here would have been perhaps more careful mm -hmm. about traveling to an allied country that would support us in extraditing someone who was subject to charges here. Um, my educated guess about this is that uh, Ms. Kushinova um, uh, got a little ahead of her skis mm. and um, went somewhere where she could be arrested. And so um, uh, I'll be looking for uh, news of an arrest, perhaps overseas, and then also an indictment. This, these charges were brought by a complaint. So we don't know her exact location right now, but you have reason to suspect she may be somewhere where, in an allied country. Th this procedure, the way they brought these charges, is the way that you would, um, if, you, if you knew you were going to have an opportunity to arrest somebody, this is how you would play your, your cards, right. if you're a prosecutor, as close to your, to your chest as possible, with the utmost of secrecy, 
you, um, you, you seal these charges, they're waiting. When the opportunity arri arises, you unseal it and you act upon an arrest warrant. It will be interesting to see if Ms. Kushinova materializes in the next few days. Kira, thank you so much for coming to see us today. Thank you, Tanya.